Why did OpenAI pay $6.5 billion for a creative designer? The fact that it's Johnny Ive reveals what truly matters in the AI era. Most business owners are asking the wrong question about AI. They're thinking, how do we add AI to what we do when they should be asking, how could AI help us completely rethink what we do? I just read this piece by Sebastian Buck in Fast Company. He says we're at a moment where we have to redesign everything with AI. Just like the personal computer era wasn't about designing faster typewriters, it was a completely new way of working. Making your processes faster with AI can be helpful, but that's just a stepping stone. The real opportunity is reimagining your entire approach. That's the difference between evolution and redesign. Sebastian outlines three steps for this redesign. First, find clarity. Ask bigger questions like, what is ultimate success for our clients or customers? Get clear on what job your customers or clients are really hiring you to do. Are they buying your product or service or the outcome it creates? Second, foster bravery. Explore multiple possible futures instead of forecasting just one path. Most businesses love forecasts because they feel safe, but they assume the future looks like the past. Third, connect emotionally. Bring your team and customers or clients along. Don't just implement tech. Too often, the people who know how to connect emotionally, marketers, artists, and designers, are heard only after critical decisions are made. This is where your human intelligence or HI becomes critical. Your strategic thinking and creativity guides this redesign process. Getting clear on these fundamentals is exactly what I work with my clients on before we touch any AI tools. That's why OpenAI values Johnny Ive. It's the emotion and heart he brings to designing products. Think about what Ive does. He doesn't just improve existing products, he completely reimagines how humans interact with technology. The iPhone wasn't a better BlackBerry, it was a totally different vision. That's the same choice you're facing with AI in your business. While your competitors are building AI-powered typewriters and Blackberries, you could be building the AI-empowered iPhones and PCs of your industry. If this resonates, follow me for more on navigating AI strategically instead of just chasing the latest tools and tactics.